Hi, this is Lorraine Wachna, Reference and Instruction Librarian at Ohio University. This is a more in-depth look at Articles Plus. It's going to be a little bit longer than the usual less than three minute video, but if you want to know a little bit more and you have to watch a video for class, this might be the one. So I'm going to start from our front, our home page and I'm going to go right to Articles Plus, which is where you open up to when you load our home page. I'm going to do just a brief search here on plagiarism, and it's going to search the database Articles Plus, which is actually a composite of a lot of smaller databases with subject-specific material, records from the Alice online catalog, JSTOR, which you've probably heard about in your class by now. There's some newspapers in here. So there's a lot of sources that will be uh, listed when you do your search. So I have over 48,000 sources. And as you can see, I have books, video recordings. I have more books. I'm not even sure what that is. More books, conference paper up here all sorts of types of things. So one thing to think about is what kind of source do you want? What kind of source is your faculty asking you for? I believe you will most likely be asked for scholarly type sources to go with your work this quarter, this semester, sorry. So I'm going to do a couple of things. If I leave it at plagiarism, Plagiarism, then you have to start asking yourself, what about it? What's your writing construct about plagiarism? Do you just want to see what's out there on plagiarism? So there's a you couple of things you do can this do where you decide to narrow your results by adding a word. Plagiarism and consequences, plagiarism and music, plagiarism and what if I put cheating? See what we get. Now I only have 3,616 because I used plagiarism and cheating. Maybe my writing construct is going to be that plagiarism is not cheating. I don't know. So let's try that. That's one way to take your results down, okay? Add another word to narrow down your search. Think about what you want to write about. The next way is to look on the left side, and you can refine by a lot of different ways. You can refine in the first area, I'm going to use full text and I'm going to update. That means that everything that I find will be in full text right now, It'll almost like having a Google moment. So now we have 2,911 when I've asked for full text. Then I say to myself, I don't want any books. That's okay. I can look at source types and decide that all I want is academic journals. I don't want magazines. I don't want news. I don't want books. I don't want trade publications. I just want academic journals. So I'm going to update. So now you're doing your research. You're picking the kind of source you want. And now I have 1,048. The next thing you can do down here as you scroll down on the left is even look at the subject. What happens here is that you have asked Articles Plus to look for the word plagiarism and cheating in all those results. So it's looking for those words. The purpose of a subject is for you to be able to narrow down your search even further by indicating you would like the articles to be on this subject. Not, not just include the words plagiarism and cheating, but actually the article will be on the subject of cheating, on the, maybe in higher education, maybe with college students. And I update. I'm asking for three, these three subjects to show up when I get my results back. 662. Full text, academic journals with these three subjects. 
Now I have some results here that I can work with. Now remember, we have asked for full text, so you can see the full text there. You can see the full text there. As you can see, these all have full text. Some of them are a little bit harder to find. Full text from ERIC, which is an education database. And there it is, Education Research Information Clearinghouse. Opens up in another window, but I'm not going to look at that article. Maybe you like this one, Evaluation of Cheating Detection Methods in Academic Writings. And don't forget, you're going to open it up. You're going to see it's from Library High Tech 2011. These are your authors. These are the different words that go with this resource. And you don't see the PDF. So look at the Find It. And it will open an information window that tells you if we have it in full text, which we do in another database called the Electronic Journal Center. OK, there we go. Great. Go back to your results list. And a couple other things I want to remind you. Say I like this one. I think, you know, it's also interesting to note the places that are doing the writing. This is all part of this research that you're doing. This is business communication quarterly. Academic dishonesty. Are more students cheating? Look at all these different. What's great about this is look at all the different words you can think about maybe trying later on or some other ideas you might get. But the Business Communication Quarterly, which is a interesting that it says issues of teaching and practice in business communication for members of the Association of Business Communication. Just so you know that the journal has an agenda. It has an audience. Okay. The next thing about this record that I want you to know is that you can print it, you can email it, you can save it to your jump drive or local drive, export it to a citation service, and you can cite it. I would question these citations, but they're maybe 75% accurate, but I would question them. Another search, perhaps on metaphor. I like the idea of metaphors. I think it's a good way to describe things to people and help them to understand. So I'm going to search for the word metaphor. Whoa, that's a lot of results. Now it's kept my full text limiter, but it didn't keep my, I'm going back on the left here, it didn't keep my academic journals. So I need to update that. So you kind of, when you redo a search, you have to do this game again. So I'm looking for academic journals in full text. Remember, let's look at the subjects. Definitely, I want the articles to be on the subject of metaphor, OK? And maybe even figures of speech. And OK, maybe I'll even look at criticism. Why not? And I'm going to update. Because remember, we were searching for the word metaphor in this giant database. So we need to find ways to narrow it. Now we have 29,873 full text academic journals using these three words. Still a lot, but you can start looking at the different places it's coming from. Okay? Seeing if any of them interest you. I mean, some of them, these are scholarly journals. They're going to be tough. I think you've already read some tough, tough things right now. They take time and effort. The last thing I wanted to show you was another example, for example, um, of, of looking at a scholarly resource. I'm going to look at this, why we mix metaphors and mix them well. What's interesting is that I had paused 
uh, this recording to look for one that I liked. And I had to look for a few minutes, so I didn't want to leave you list waiting for me to find one I liked. As I read this abstract, it started sounding a little bit more interesting than it originally did. So I thought I would look at it. And re remember, this is your title. This is your author. This is where he works. Journal of Pragma Pragmatics. This is the date, the volume, the issue, the pages. Okay, this is the abstract. So I'm going to find it with link source because it's not just a PDF. It's at the EJC and it's giving me what it's about and it's giving me cited references which is a great thing because maybe we can use some of these references. One of the things that was talked about in your readings was how do people put, you know, collect information and create new research. This person looked at all these different things and had a claim they want to make, a something they want to say. They used all these different people and books and sources to come up with this article. Okay, so this is a scholarly article. I'm not going to say much more. I think you've probably got the hang of it. Um, but if you need any further help, you just say, I don't understand any of this silliness. And you should be able to go back to the results list and have a little chat with us, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see up here. Yeah. Right here, you can just say, I don't understand what I'm looking for. I don't understand what I found. I don't know how to find this or whatever. OK, and you can always go back to the main page and ask right here. Thanks for your time.